Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, the Batman Statue Collector, and we have another guest review, another showcase review for you guys. This one was sent in to us by Collector Kamal, and this is a very, very unique piece. This is a quarter-scale piece from Dark Side Collectible Studio. Now, of course, this is from Terminator 2, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I'm basically going to be passing along what uh, Kamal said about this piece after he had about 48 hours to digest this piece. Um, the first thing he says is it's very, very heavy. It's 50 pounds, solidly constructed, very, very awesome piece. It has a real presence, and he says from about a foot away, it's absolutely killer. Um, there isn't anything else like this out there. Um, and he is a major Terminator diehard fan. Uh, so it's very, very cool. He has a lot of other pieces um, in his collection that is very, very exciting. Of course, I, I'm sure he's very excited about the Prime 1 pieces coming up as well um, that they've teased. But anyway, he really loves this piece overall. And I, I agree. I think the, the aesthetic of this piece, the application looks very, very good. And like he said, if you step away from it a little bit, sometimes that uh, makes a bigger impact. Um, but he did have some cons. He did have some cons to this piece. Um, he said the signature edition came with a pre-printed signature. Uh, and he said this was a major issue when it was advertised with a COA signed by Arnold himself, which means live ink. And I guess that was not the case. Um, he said the sculpt is perfect for a polystone statue. It's 100% Arnold. However, he feels the paint application um, is somewhat flat kind of like the older Sideshow Arnold pieces that he has. So, you know, you can take that into a grain of salt. Uh, is the lightness there? Uh, it's definitely there for me. I think it's very, very well done, especially with the shades. I think once you take the shades off, there it loses maybe just a slight bit. But overall, I think the paint application looks pretty good. Um, I can see where he says maybe, you know, a bit flat in areas. Um, you know, just a bit. Every statue company is different, and, and every company paints their statues differently. Um, so, you know, unless you've seen one of these in person, you just you just don't know, you know. Um, he does feel like the price point uh, was a bit high. So this is uh, $2,500. Uh, he felt like it should have been more in the fifteen dollars to $2,000 range for this. Um, as prices continue to creep up, um, you know, this is a, a pretty good size diorama. So you have to consider that. I think, you know, if you look at other like XM bat bike pieces and other things like that, that have the big bike, um, I think this is kind of on par with a lot of that. Um, but I do think that the piece looks very good overall. Um, and yes, you can argue about the price point all, you know, until we're blue in the face, but I think the, the the overall piece here is very very cool, and they're also going to do um, a regular you know non bike version um, that is also coming out from them. Uh, you can see the Queen Studios bus back there, so it's it's really exciting to see all these pieces together. And I mentioned the Prime One also coming out as well. Um, so if you're an Arnold fan, if you're a T2 fan, this is a great time to be a Terminator collector because there's a lot of great Arnold merch out there, a lot of really good likenesses which is phenomenal. We have that new Queen Studios bus that's also been shown. Um, so it's very, very exciting. Um, and I, I just, again, I think that all of this has been really well done. Um, I will put the link down below um, if you are interested in ordering this one. Um, and it, uh, that does help support the channel. So thank you guys for that. Um, but I am curious as to what you guys think. Um, again, I, I think it looks very, very good, especially when you step back just slightly from it. But again, I do want to turn it over to you. What do you guys think? Uh, it's a great quarter scale, quarter scale piece. Uh, from Dark Side Collectible Studio. And again, I would just love to hear your thoughts on the price point and also the likeness and what you think about the piece overall. Is it something that you would consider adding to your collection or is it something that you would rather, you know, more have, you know, the individual statue without the, without the bike and things like that? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. But again, this was a great showcase review. Thanks for watching. See you in the Batcave. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.